I mean, the, the young ladies talked about feeling so many emotions. I don't think I was as nervous all season as I was today. Um, I wanted to send the seniors out with a bang. You know, they have done so much for this program on the court, off the court. They have adjusted in a transition to a new coaching staff, which is not easy for anyone, you know, and I wanted to give them everything that we had. And I certainly wanted to send them off with a win going into the CAA tournament. So I feel so much better now before the game. I was wound up so tight. I was so nervous. Um, but I'm, I'm happy that we were able to do that for them. I mean, the legacy that these seniors are leaving is incredible. And it's going to be hard for others to touch it. So, so happy. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to be honest, a lot of it was on them, you know, all that we asked them to do was to believe in us, to collaborate with us. That is something that we talk to all of them about. And that was a, a hard transition in the beginning, being able to say, all right, how does this feel? You guys are doing it. It's easy for us to say as coaches, let's do this. Let's guard it this way. Let's play offense this way. But how does it feel for you guys? Can you do this? Do you believe in it? And when they finally found how to collaborate with us, everything kind of switched for us. I think I said uh, when conference first started, the, the girls asked us if they could press. And we said, yeah. You know, like, if you believe in it that much, then let's do it. And, I mean, it was a lot of bumps in the road, a lot of, I mean, turns on this squiggly journey that we've taken. But I, I'm just so grateful to these young ladies to believe in me, believe in our amazing staff. Um, they came in, they got extra work in when they had classes and tutoring and so many things, so much homework to do. They still came in to work on their craft and I think that is why they have found success on the court. I wish I could say it was because I had something that I was doing. Um, all I did was believe in them and want the best for them and they kind of did the rest. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that mean to the program, to your, to your staff, to your team? I had no idea that that was even a thing, you know, until after the game, Laura told us <laughs> that we did that. I mean, it just it continues to prove how proud I am of these girls. You know, they were resilient. I remember after our first two games, we were on the road, we were at Stony Brook first, and we were at Northeastern. And I said to our staff and I said to our team, we're not a very good team right now. And that was not to discourage anyone. It was to say, we're gonna scratch everything that we've been doing and we're gonna start over. That's not their fault, that's on me. Right, as a coach, as the head coach, that is on me that we're not where we should be right now. And we scratched, when I tell you guys, scratched everything. Like we came in and we started over in practice and our girls fought. They were so tired. They were practicing harder than they've ever practiced before, ever. Um, and I was like, we're gonna play basketball the right way. And right now we're not doing that. And that's on me. And they bought into that, even though it was really, really hard. Hard. It was really hard. Um, we talked about winning being hard, though. And if you want to win, it's going to take this hard stuff. And if you guys can just stick with us, we promise that it will pay off. Just stick with us. It's hard. We know it, but it will pay off. And they did. They did through all the hard days, through the days where they were exhausted. And I think now our record shows that. Right. It shows that we we hit a wall and we stuck together and we figured it out the rest of the way. It seemed like that once you did start pressing that it really changed the whole dynamic. Mm -hmm. Is that did that really get you to where you are now? Do you feel? 
Absolutely. So we tried to press early in the season, but I don't think we were in condition enough to do it. And again, that's on me, right? There was a lot of self-reflection. Like it's, it's not, these girls are going to do whatever we ask of them. We have a great group of young ladies. And I felt like I wasn't pushing them hard enough to be in condition to be able to press like we want to. And then once we got through that, it was a couple of weeks where we were just figuring out our conditioning. Then they were like, we want to press, we like it. And they weren't getting fatigued so fast. And then that just, it sparks us. Even today, we were in some foul trouble, so we couldn't press in the second quarter. We struggled because we couldn't press. We had so many people on the bench with two fouls. Um, and it's just kind of become our staple, pressing, trapping, and really just disrupting offense. Well, yeah, and and I told her too. She was she tried to play against Monmouth, and I saw her out there, and I just didn't want to risk it because I knew that she wanted to play in her senior night in the CAA tournament. So she wasn't the happiest with me <laughs> during the Monmouth game, um, but our team really really held her down and and finished it out for her so that she could come out here. She was feeling great. She told me yesterday that she was going to be feeling good today. And she told me in shoot around today just to remind me that she's feeling fine. Um, so she did not want me to think that she could not go. So and I mean, she came out hot in the first quarter. Rib, yep, yep. I went down and I <laughs> talked to my coaches and I said, I don't really know what to say. And I'm rarely at a loss for words. And I'm like, I don't really know what to say. And all my coaches said the same thing. They were like, we don't really know what to say either, you know? And so I said, well, whatever we say, let's just be positive. I'm like, they're beating themselves up enough right now. Like, it's no point in us going in there and adding to that. Um, so I was like, we're getting wide open shots. You guys are hesitating. You're wondering if you should take the shot because we've missed a couple and we don't play well like that. I'm like, just shoot it, just shoot. The worst that could happen is we miss which we were doing anyway. I'm like, that's the worst that could happen. Like, so just shoot it in rhythm without any thought. Like it should be leaving your hands before you could even think if you should have shot it or not. Um, and I tried to get them out early in the halftime to get them more shots, to get them going a little bit. And we just told them like, just stay the course, just stay the course. We're gonna get some stops. And that's what we did. We got some stops early. We got out in transition and that helped us score in the third quarter. Yeah, so today was the last day of our season, right? And then now we're into a whole new season and we are zero and zero and it doesn't matter who we're matched up against, we have to play tribe basketball. We have worked so hard to get to this moment like so hard to get to this moment. And it shouldn't matter who's standing in our way, they're standing in our way. And um, we, have to, we have to get after it, right? It's, it's win or go home. We have seniors that are trying to win by any means necessary as much as they can. Um, and so I look, I look forward to getting started. If I could sum it up in two words, it would be gratitude and proud. Um, I am so thankful to have this opportunity to coach these women. They are going to be so impactful in the world beyond William and Mary. Um, I'm thankful to Brian Mann, to Peel, to Jason Sims for believing in me to lead this team. Um, and I'm just thankful to, for all the work that these girls have put in, despite so much adversity. And I mean, proud is just because I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to coach this tribe. Um, I'm proud to know these girls. 
and I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them for their resilience and their pride, their pride in William and Mary. And I don't know if they always had it, but they found it. And since they found it, they have not let it go. And I hope they carry that with them for the rest of their lives, their, their pride of being a part of this tribe with these women at this time. Um, and I hope that they, they come back after they've left their legacy here and they, they pay it forward to the next young ladies that will be wearing a tribe uniform.